at the eclipse. <laughs> yeah, that'd be hilarious. Speaking of which, would you uh, teleport me outside? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna step outside, say my say my morning prayers. <laughs> you guys wanna go outside? All right, hang on. Let's see. That's one to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> no. Hello, birds. This is our Jimway phrase of the day. Hello, birds. Sometimes I think it's good just to, just to talk to the birds. You know? Nobody says a thing when you see a tree hugger. You go, oh, there's a tree hugger. It must be an environmentalist. Some lady's hugging a tree. But you see a lady talking to the birds and you go, oh, look at that poor old crazy lady talking to the pigeons. She must be so lonely. <laughs> well, I don't know. I like talking to the birds. So for today's Auntie Natasha's Nebwakowin Wisdom, I'm going to talk about talking to yourself. But first, I should pray. Ask the creator to help me talk. <laughs> so, I'm going to grab a little asema, asema, little tobacco. I'm going to put it between my cheek and gum. Yeah, howdy, partner. <laughs> nah. Asema. This is, this is sprinkling tobacco. I like to offer tobacco and sprinkle it on the ground when I pray. It's like offering tobacco to my elder. So this morning I'm just going to say, Bujou Kichimanadu. Hello, great spirit. Odapanan Niwi Asema. Accept my tobacco. Taka we took a wishin on dome in a way noon gum. Please help me to speak well today. Miigwech. Thank you. Come rushing up to meet me now But in the space between the heavens And the corner of a foreign field I had a dream Goodbye, Max. Goodbye, Ma. After the service, when you're walking slowly to the car, and the silver in her hair shines in the cold November air, you hear the tolling bell and touch the silk of her lapel. And as the teardrops rise to meet the comfort of the band, you, you take her frail hand and 
hold on to the dream. The contents of my consciousness lately have been, I think a lot about the show. I think about the stuff that I went through this summer and how I'm healing from my grief. <laughs> I think about God. I think about money. I think about my health. I think about Bagheera, my cat. I think about Nanabuju and Michael Lyons. And I think about the Bushu crew. You know. Um, these are just, I just kind of make a list of what is stuff that I'm kind of chewing on most of the time these days. You know. These are my worries and these are my gratitudes. And then sometimes I'll do this even do this funny thing where I write a letter to myself in the past. I'll go like, Dear Natasha, 1985. How are you? Well, you're doing great, kid. I know it's been tough and you're scared and you're unsure about yourself and you're really freaked out about that thing that happened. But hang in there. It's going to get better. It's going to be okay. And I end up almost writing a letter saying stuff like, now, I can't tell you what's going to happen. I know, see, what kind of question would I have had for myself if I had come back from the future? It's like, hey, hi, it's me, Michael J. Fox. I'm back from the future. I got Parkinson's. No, <laughs> no. But if I could come back, you know, what question would I have for middle-aged lady when I was 18? I'd be like, hey, are we rich and famous yet? <laughs> it's like, nope. But you're, you're used to it. It's okay. You know? Um, but then I, sometimes I look at my life and I go, well, what, what would 18-year-old version of me think of all this? And the reality is, <laughs> to my standards when I was 18, I would have been like, holy man, this is great. I would have felt rich because, you know, I don't want to pick up. I was 18. I didn't have a car. When I was 18, I had to live in a little dorm room that was about the size of my, my bedroom, I guess. A little bigger than my bedroom. And shared it with a roommate. You know, I, I had no money. I had nothing going on. You know, so I walk around fretting, oh, no, woe is me. My life's not going where I want it to be. But if I could compare it to when I was 18, my 18-year-old self would go, hey, well done. <laughs> nice. What? We live in a house? Holy cow, that's great. We got through college, huh? Uh -huh. Now, 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 now. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, it's older than the trees, younger than the mountains. Blowing like a breeze, country roads, 
reached the studio of Nanobushu and Natasha. Oh, shut up! <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> you pick me up? Yeah. Let's see. Let me scan for your coordinates. Okay. And that's one to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> nah. Oh, well, hi. How was it outside? Oh, it's beautiful out there. Just gorgeous. I couldn't believe I thought it was going to be cold today. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was going to be really cold and rainy. No, it's a perfect autumn morning. Doug Wagon! Gigajibba! Autumn morning. Um. So, anyway. Baby, can we call it a show? 